gear, 130 miles an hour, up to Duffer's Dip. Here they come, Randy Sheets. Number one, Winklehock, second in the BMW. Third is Alan Menu in the Renault. Behind him is Steve Soper, out of Duffer's Dip. Peter McIntyre's the right-hander. This is really close. Through the chicane. And oh, oh, off! It's Tarquini. What happened? Gabriele Tarquini in the Alfa Romeo. Thank heavens he's safe. Out of the car, rushing to safety. And the crowd have shown their appreciation that he's all right. But it's a very dazed and battered Gabriele leading against the barrier. No wonder. The view from Tarquini's car shows the severity of the accident. And it also showed the punishment that's handed out to the driver's neck muscles on impact as the Alpha rolls over. The effectiveness of the safety roll cage could not have been better demonstrated. Little could be salvaged of the car, but maybe something could be salvaged from the disciplinary process. This was amateur footage that better illustrates Harvey's role in the incident. The time between the races didn't permit a final decision to be taken. The grid for the second race would be the finishing order of the first. For the moment, at least, Tim Harvey survived. No decision. Um, obviously, we, it can't be decided uh, just like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to consider, and I've got to go and, and take part in the next race. Um, uh, it'll have to wait until after the after the next race.